Hey home bakers, it's Jack here, bakerwithjack.co.uk, bringing you your weekly bread making tip every single Thursday. And today, what is a two pound loaf tin? Hey everybody, welcome back. Nice to see you here again every single Thursday for my weekly bread making tip. And if you are brand new here, this is bread tip number 57, which means there are 56 more bread tips awaiting your discovery. And if you go way back to the beginning, they are properly dodgy. So uh, have a little watch and enjoy yourself. Without further ado, what is a two pound loaf tin? Now a two pound loaf tin is a loaf tin designed to hold two pounds of dough. And two pounds of bread dough is around about 920 grams of bread dough. Feel free to correct my maths underneath if you like. But 920 grams of bread dough will fit into a two pound loaf tin, which means that when I make a loaf, uh, 500 grams of flour is what I use to make a loaf, which creates a dough around about 850 grams, give or take anything extra. For example, seeds. If I add 100 grams of seeds, that's 950 grams. It's around about two pounds anyway, and that's the sort of dough size that I put into a two pound loaf tin. Now a two pound loaf tin sounds like a two pound loaf tin. It's the same as a two pound loaf tin. It's designed to hold the same amount of dough, but it's not always the same size as the next two pound loaf tin. Let me show you one that I like to use the most. This is my old school two pound loaf tin. It looks like this. It's properly old school, bruised and beaten and battered up. And I've had this for donkey's years. It's wicked. It's no frills tin, two pound loaf tin in the farmhouse style. So this one's got quite straight edges and it's quite tall, which means that it's gonna make quite a tall loaf. And then when you slice it, you're gonna get nice, big, tall uh, slices out of it for a nice size sandwich. And that's what I like. That's my sort of taste. Here's the same tin in the modern equivalent. Non-stick, nice, like it. It's a little bit more swish and a little bit more swanky and that's what we like sometimes. This is the one that I use in my courses and bread making classes. It's exactly the same size and shape as the other one. It's just a little bit non-stick and it helps us out a touch. Now the reason why I'm making this video is some people send me pictures of their loaf of bread that's a little bit squat and a little bit flat and they're a little bit upset that they don't rise up, rise up as tall and as proud uh, as my loaf, for example. And that sometimes is down to the nature of the tin. Some of them you'll see, I haven't got an example, a little bit shallow and a little bit wide and then they, so they won't make a nice big proud slice of bread, they're gonna make a slightly smaller squatter slice of bread but don't be sad it's just the nature of your tin. Now to give you an idea a little contrast of that I've got another two pound loaf tin that I purchased from a local shop for a pound each and these are awesome look at these they're really long and really uh, narrow and a little bit squatter than the other one let me show you the other one to compare it see what I mean and they're both two pound loaf tins, except this one is gonna make a little smaller slice, much smaller slice, uh, and much more smaller slices of the same bread, uh, which is nice for little kitty winkle sandwiches, stuff like that. So I quite like that one too, it has its place. But still, two pound loaf tins, they're not always exactly the same size. Theoretically, they are the same volume and they will affect the shape of your bread at the end. As always, thank you so much for watching this video uh, and thank you so much for staying all the way to the end because that's a big deal. Please, if you have liked it, if it's helped you, please click that thumbs up, that'd be really, really cool. And if you don't wanna miss out on future videos of me, I can't believe we're 57 videos in now. If you can't wait until number 58, please click the subscribe button and you most certainly won't miss it, that'd be awesome. See you next week.